Welcome back to Math 104. When mu equals 514 and sigma equals 118, what percentage of students score above 620? First note that the z-score associated with 620 equals 620 minus 514 divided by 118. This equals 106 over 118, so this is still a little bit less than one standard deviation. It turns out to be approximately 0 0.90. We can mark that in our diagram here, z equals 0 0.90, and the region we're interested in is everything above z equals 0 0.90. That means that when we look up 0 0.90 in the table, we're going to find out the probability of this region between 0 and 0 0.90. We had a problem like this in an earlier video. Everything from 0 upward has a probability of 0.5. That 0.5 minus everything from 0 to 0.9 is exactly what we're trying to find out. When z equals 0 0.90, we have a value in the table of 0.3159. So our probability that we're looking for equals 0.5 minus 0.3159. That equals 0.1841, and that is our answer. Since the question really asked about a percentage of students, we should really express this as 18.41% of students scored above 620. What is the probability that a randomly selected student scores between 450 and 550? 450 is below the mean, so we're going to get a negative z-score, and that's okay. This turns out to be approximately negative 0.54, so we have a region that ends somewhere down here on the left side. And then for 550, which is a little bit above the mean, we're going to have a z-score of just 0.31, approximately. This is not a very wide range of scores. But because of the way normal distributions work, because of how clustered they are about the mean, this is actually going to turn out to have a fairly substantial probability compared to how narrow the range is. When z equals negative 0.54, we're actually going to look up z equals positive 0.54 in the table, and by our usual method we find that 0.2054 is the probability that a score falls between the mean and 0.54 standard deviations away from the mean. So this portion of the region has probability 0.2054. When we look up 0.31 in the table, we obtain 0.1217 as the probability, and that means the answer to our question will be the sum of 0.2054 and 0.1217, which equals 0.3271. There is almost a 33% chance, there is almost a one, th a one third chance that a score will fall somewhere in this 100 point range. A fairly substantial probability, considering that this is only a 100 point range. Now a new kind of a question. To be in the top 20%, what score would a student need to receive? Now that's different because we're not given a z-score, we're not given a raw score, we have to work backwards from the table to a raw score. Now this is a little bit tricky. First we have to understand what the region looks like. Somewhere there's going to be a cutoff score, and being in the top 20% means being in a region that looks like this, that starts at some point and goes to the right. To say that this is the top 20% means there's a 0.2 probability that a score falls within this range. And here's the crucial observation. If there's a 0.2 probability of falling in this blue region, then there is a 0.3 probability of falling in this region between the mean and whatever the cutoff is to be in the top 20%. To find what that cutoff is, we want to know what z-score results in a probability of 0.3. What does z need to be such that when we look up that z in the table, the entry inside the table equals 0.3, or as close as we can find in the table to 0.3? Our job now is to scan the entries of this table and see the closest value to 0.3. The closest entries we find to 0.3 are these two, which live in the 0 0.8 row and between the 0 0.04 and 0 0.05 columns. That means that the exact value of z that would give rise to exactly 0.3 as the value in the table is 0.84 something, a little bit more than 0.84. But we're not going to worry about that, since 0.2995 is a little bit closer to 0.3 than 0.3023 is to 0.3. We're going to stick with the 0.2995. So z equals 0.84, 0.84 standard deviations above the mean, 
is the cutoff between the 30% of students who are above the mean but below the cutoff and the 20% of students who are above the cutoff. Now if z equals 0 0.84, then 0.84 equals some unknown x, that's the score measured in points, minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Our job is to solve for x, to solve for the raw score that corresponds to 0.84 standard deviations above the mean. We have 99.12 equals x minus 514, so that 613.12 equals x. Thus, a score greater than 613.12, namely 614 or higher, will place a student into the top 20%. Because of the rounding that we did when we looked for 0.3 in the table and did not find exactly 0.3 as an entry in the table, there is a little bit of danger that this is not exactly right, but it's certainly very close. Before going on to the next video, answer the following question. Within what range would a student need to score in order to be in the middle 40%? As always, start with the picture.